Welcome back, everyone. Today, I want to talk about how to become invaluable in any workplace. Let's get into it. Welcome back, everyone, to Perfect Spiral Capital. It is Monday. That means it's Mindset Monday. And I want to talk to you about the T model for skills. Imagine your resume for a moment. You may have on your resume a section for skills. This might list proficiency in certain pieces of software. It might list general skills like communication. But you are likely at some point to have had a list of skills on your resume. You might have even rated yourself with those different pieces of software or those different skill sets. Now, the T-shaped model or T skill set is an idea that I discovered through the company Valve Corporation. If you're not sure who Valve is, let's take a quick look. So here's Valve Corporation or Valve Software. It's a video game company. They run Steam, which is the largest platform for digital distribution PC gaming in the world. Now, you can read, of course, this entire article. It's easy to navigate here. They're famous for doing Half-Life and other games like that. But I want to scroll down and just show you their $10 billion company, a huge name in the industry, one of the biggest names in the industry. So why do I bring that up? Well, Valve uses the T skill set model ever since 2015. It's been in their employee handbook. This is what they look for when they're attracting people. So what's the T-shaped skill model? Well, here's a model that I made to demonstrate in visual terms what the T-shaped skill set or T model for your skills is. You can see here that you have communication, marketing, programming, data analysis, graphic design, sales, and web design. A few different areas that someone might have skill in. Well, what we're looking at in this chart is the depth of the skill in a particular category. And so this hypothetical person that I made up for the purposes of this demonstration has moderate communication skills, mar moderate marketing skills, moderate programming skills. They're aware of some of those things. They know a little bit. They have a little bit of experience. But what they're really, really good at is data analysis. And so what Valve looks for when they hire, what I look for when I hire, is deep, passionate, hyper-focused skill in one area, maybe two areas, but just a very isolated core focus. And and this is the really important part, some broad range knowledge of the other related disciplines that are going to be used in the company. So if you imagine someone that's excellent at data analysis, but knows absolutely nothing about what the sales team is doing, what the graphic designers are doing, what the marketing team is doing, the programmers, the communications director, they can't interface with those people. If they don't understand at all what the applications of their data analysis are, they're going to be hard to work with. You might get excellent, excellent, excellent reports from them that are almost impossible to use. <laughs> and so that can, of course, apply to more extroverted things like sales. If someone's really, really, really good at sales, but has absolutely no interest in dealing with the back end, the customer service, the forms, if they just close a deal and move on and can't be troubled with the back end of the sales process, that's not a good fit for, for example, my team. I don't want that person. I want someone who has at least some awareness and it, it pays some attention 
to all of the other components of the business, even if that's not their area. By the way, if you like this graphic, I'll provide a link in the description box below. You can certainly download a copy. So how do you apply this to your own life? Well, if you know a little bit about programming, but that's really what you enjoy, that's where you want to go with your career, go all in. Focus. Become an absolute subject matter expert at that, but also pay attention to some of the other things that you're going to have to deal with on the side, the peripheral disciplines, the other people within an organization that you'll need to work with in a programming role. Or if you're in sales, learn the customer service side. It might even be worth it to take a job that you don't necessarily want for a few months just to get a feel for what else is involved, the bigger picture. If you have that and you can demonstrate that in an interview, you'll get the job. If you're an entrepreneur and you can show your team, the people that are doing the work that you don't necessarily want to do, what you understand, that you, you know their side of the business, they will respect you more. It matters to have the T. And so just do this with your hands and think about what's my deep focus? What are the other skills related to that? And build that shape. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, there's another one coming up on screen in just a moment that I'm sure you'll enjoy as well. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.